Hello everyone, today we're taking a quick look at the Chapal Alpine Eagle XL Chronograph 44mm. If you're new to the channel, my name is Howard, I'm a watch enthusiast. I don't work in the watch industry, so in my spare time I try to find watches like these, do a video and share with everyone. If you like the video, you know, please consider subscribing because that's really going to help me uh, continue to do videos like these. So Chapal is obviously a very traditional name. Um, I just felt like in the last five to ten years, they haven't had a whole lot of sports offerings that can really, uh, you know, compete strongly with some of the more established names. I mean, obviously they've done, you know, quite a bit lately with the Alpine Eagle series, and today I decided to take a look at their one of the larger ones, XL Chronograph 44 millimeter, um, just to get a sense how they're doing. Look, overall, I mean, it, my first impression is. It's very well done watch. Uh, it's it's a little bit on the bigger side. It's 44 millimeters. Uh, case is 44 millimeters, 13.8 millimeters thick. So it's not too bad. I think you know it's under 14, so it's acceptable for a chronograph. Uh, 50.6 lug to lug again because of the shortened lug design. It's not too bad at all, and. The, you know, rubber is obviously the new metal, if you will. I mean, most watches are offering rubber strap, at least as part of the system. And with the rubber, you know, you can pull down a little bit more direct instead of a integrate braces, which is going to stick out like this, right? But with the rubber, it's, it's more vertical, so that's great. Uh, on the weight is, even with the rubber, because it's a big piece of metal, 145.9 uh, grams and 5.15 ounces. Um, sorry, I forgot to mention the model number 298609-3003. Um, when I got this watch, my first thing is the dial. It's very, very impressive. You know, it's very, very interesting. It's the official explanation is uh, this particular blue one or other color, the dial basically is inspired by Eagle's iris. You know, Eagle, I can see like, you know, far, far away. This is inspired by that. Uh, you know, maybe, yeah, it does kind of look like that a little bit. If I, you know, turn into the lighting a little bit, you can see basically fine lines, but not super uh, direct, organized, which which is what you don't want. This is more of a natural... Uh, iteration, perhaps, if you want to say, inspired by uh, Eagle's Iris. Um, yeah, overall traditional design. You got the thirty-minute counter here, twelve-hour. This is the running second chronograph hand, hour, minute. Uh, the, the tachymeter is inside, kind of like the AP chronographs. Um, you know, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of these eight screws. I don't really think it's needed, but it looks like, you know, they like it. Um, but I, I, I don't, you know, I don't, you know, AP do, you know, if AP wants to do it, that's fine. That's they've been doing for forever, but I'm not sure why do you need these, uh, honestly. Um, here's the, interestingly, well, you have the regular crown with the nice, nice kind of the star. The two pushers for the chronograph is interesting. It's not the traditional round. It's more of a, uh, longer shaped it's actually pretty nice pretty easy to push because it gives you more area for your hand so if you push that it's going back and I think this is a flyback that means I can just push the bottom one directly to go back to the center restart so that's very nice um, oh, also the hands and indexes are rhodium uh, plated. I mean, so so one of the most expensive, uh, perhaps the most expensive precious metal for uh, uh, anti-corrosion resistance. Uh, what else? Um, so the case, let's take a look on the side. It got a little bit of a mix of kind of like a mini crown guard on the left side as well, polished, satin. Shoulder and the bezel is... is satin a little bit polished here same here the two pushers are like satin finish I like this lug design it makes it a little shorter a little bit more direct on your wrist Alpine Eagle Chapal Geneva 
I think the caliber is a Chapalt 03.05-C, 60 power reserve, 60 hours power reserve. Uh, they have the little screws on here as well, eight eight little screws on the back. That's kind of this uh, common common design. Chapeau on the strong, nice rubber. You know, it's it's firm but not super stiff. Alpine Eagle. Water resistant. I think it's hundred meters, three hundred thirty feet. Pretty standard. Uh, and the blue, again, the you know, if you look at the the rubber strap, it's kind of like a matte-ish design color. It's not just the color, but also the texture feels a little bit of a, you know, traditional matte, not a smooth, you know, shiny type of rubber, which is kind of nice. The back is, you know, slightly more smooth. Oh, you also have a date window at, you know, between four and five and a Roman 12 numbers here. Very nice. Oh, one last little. Oh, no, never mind. I thought the hand was a different color, but that's the lighting. Um, yeah, it's the second hand, uh, the chronograph hand that's causing me seeing a little bit of that. Uh, um, Top of the chronograph hands is a little bit red, if you guys can see. The others are not. The others are just regular color, but it was reflected with because of that red, uh, because of that little red uh, tip. All right, Alpine Eagle XL chronograph, forty-four millimeters on my wrist, six and a half inches, sixteen point five centimeters. Uh, it's okay. It's not super big. I mean, you know, 13.8, it's okay. It's it's about 44, you know, it's 50.6 lug to lug. It's acceptable. Again, like I said, the rubber strap, the beauty is they drop down right away. Yes, because the watch is tall, you're going to have some, you know, lifted space here. Uh, one thing is I noticed they don't have a whole lot of holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven. So I'm in the most last one, the tightest one. It feels like maybe okay um, but there's definitely space here so on harder days when your wrist skin you know expand a little bit it's okay but if you have a wrist that's smaller than 16 and a half uh, i don't think you should i mean again it's your own preference but you should definitely try it to see if it's too big for me you know it's it's on the borderline uh Maybe okay for brief, you know, brief wear, but I don't think I can wear this for uh, extended amount of time. All right, um, price wise, this piece retails for nineteen thousand one hundred in the U.S. one nine one zero zero U.S. dollars plus tax. Uh, but I think you know these brands, you know, they're only a couple of brands, two or three brands. You pay retail at the you know authorized dealer. Most watches you can get a decent discount. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can get a discount on this one as well at the dealer. I was looking at some of the secondary market price. I like got a brand new piece. A secondary market dealer was asking for thirteen thousand. I mean that's six thousand dollars off. Like what a thirty, uh, almost thirty percent off, which is normal, right? Because for a watch of this price, margin is huge. So. You know, definitely if you go to dealer, official dealer, negotiate, you know, 25-30% off is probably doable. Uh, otherwise, secondary market brand new, I'm seeing like 13000 for this piece. Again, this is the Alpine Eagle XL Chronograph, 44 millimeter, model number 298609-3003. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.